years, and we've not missed a Monday night thanks to all of you, and it is something that continues to grow worldwide. As you came on, you heard people coming in from uh, all over the country and other countries uh, tonight, so it's an honor to have you all with me this evening. As you know, uh, most of the time our regular format is that I am the host of this call, uh, but tonight I get the pleasure of being the speaker uh, as well. And as you know, too, uh, we have is doing this call all of these years. Uh, we've been very fortunate to have people to come to us with all types of expertise and experience. Many times we'll hear from doctors in regard to our Juice Plus product. Uh, other times it might be corporate people, uh, business uh, people who have either been with our company for many years and share business information or people who are new in our business and are sharing new and exciting things that are happening to them uh, on a daily basis as we continue to evolve. Uh, so tonight our business, our call will be business-oriented, as I will talk about just uh, the experience, I guess you would say in a nutshell, uh, over the past 30 years. So let me start by just giving uh, you a little company history, again, for those of you who may be joining us for the very first time. Uh, the Juice Plus Company is actually 48 years old, so we're sneaking up on 50 years here, uh, and was entered the marketing place so many years ago with a product I'm sure you're all familiar with today. We were the company that introduced smoke detectors for the home, and obviously that was very successful. Uh, we were known as National Safety Associates then because it was a safety product. And, of course, that was something that really laid the foundation for all the success that has followed for all the years. Uh, we diversified over the years, of course, uh, going into the field of environment with water filtration and air filtration in the early 80s. And then 25 years ago this year, we entered the field of health technology with Juice Plus and the Juice Plus family of products. And what a find that has been for all of us, not only for our own health and well-being, but for the health and well-being of the people that we love and those that we come across on a daily basis. So something that is certainly foundational for all of us. But if you look at our company and its history, really the focus has been for the safety and well-being and health of mankind. Uh, smoke detectors, water filtration, air filtration, pure food uh, with Juice Plus, uh, we stretch out to really make a difference uh, for those people, not only for ourselves, as we said, but those that we come across. And today, of course, uh, we wish you all a, a happy Labor Day. And um, as you know, Labor Day honors the American labor, labor movement and the social and economic contributions that workers have made to the strength, prosperity, laws, and well-being of our country. And I feel like we today, all of us in this profession, are a very important part of the health and well-being and future of our country and that we do make a big difference uh, on a daily basis as well as a yearly basis. Certainly if we look at the foundation of growth in this country, uh, entrepreneurism uh, was something that laid the foundation for who and what we are today as a nation, as a people, uh, and the prosperity that this country has had. And certainly our business is one that is founded in entrepreneurism, and I think we're all particularly blessed that we also have the freedom for t to pursue a business of this nature uh, and design our own lives uh, financially, time-wise, all of those things that uh, – small business and free enterprise can bring. Uh, so tonight I'm going to uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, just what the experience has been and continues to be over the past 30 years with the Juice Plus Company. And I have to say that, you know, I'm still a bit amazed that this is my profession. Uh, after all these years, I'm still in awe that I should love this as much as I do. Uh, my background was not marketing of any type. It was education. I taught at one of the universities in South Louisiana, which is where I'm from. And before that, I taught kindergarten. I'm a mom. I have a couple of kids. They're grown adults now, of course. Uh, and I have a grandson. And so, uh, you know, if I look back uh, 30 years ago, 
my children at that time were middle school, and I found myself in a rather uh, what felt like very desperate situation. The economy in South Louisiana in those days was supported by the petroleum, oil, and gas business. That business moved to the Middle East, and when it did, everyone's jobs went with it. Uh, people had the difficulties that anyone has in economic depression. Uh, they lost their jobs. They lost their homes. Uh, many marriages came apart. Mine was one of them. Uh, and it was a time which really, for me, uh, was very, very fearful. And so even teaching with a master's degree in a university, I didn't make enough to send my own children to college. And that was a very important thing to me as far as uh, the standard of what I wanted for my family and for their future. And so I really had to kind of expand my perception of how I could create additional income uh, just to hopefully keep us above struggle. And I happened to come across this company, and really I have to say, even though my first reaction was, was one that this couldn't possibly be for me, I would never know how to do this, I decided that maybe it could be part-time and I could fill that gap. And as I said, keep us above struggle. <clears throat> the surprising thing, though, <laughs> over that first year was that I fell in love. I fell in love with the product. I fell in love with the people. I fell in love with the marketing model. And it was amazing to me because it was, uh, I guess, an adventure that I never thought would be available to me. I could not only create abundance for myself, but I could teach others to create abundance as well. Uh, this certainly fit the need in our particular part of the country at that time. I loved the idea that I could design and develop a big and powerful business in this profession. Uh, this is something that had never occurred to me before that, that I could even begin to attempt, much less realize. I also realized that a door had opened for me, uh, a door that I felt earlier uh, women could not enter. I found myself on the world stage of big business. No glass ceiling, equal opportunity for all, and this was equal opportunity for both men and women alike. And it was exhilarating then, and it still is today. It continues to inspire my mind and my spirit. And so what I'd like to share with you are things that I feel have been foundational to the evolution of my own business growth and the development of this organization and our company as well. Uh, certainly a great deal of this has been the joy of not only knowing but working with all of you and continuing to stretch out and meet people that we do work with together. And so there's been a, a lot of happiness uh, in it as well as prosperity. But if I look at just, you know, the foundational things that have been important, <clears throat> excuse me, not only to myself but to others. Uh, I'll go through a few of those things with you. Uh, as many of you know, and I'll start with this, uh, I have an assistant that's been with me now for almost 30 years. Uh, her name is Missy, so if you know me, you probably know Missy. And she puts this Monday night call together, uh, amongst many other things she does to help and serve the organization. And a couple of years ago she was... Um, talking to one of the people that would be a speaker for us on a Monday night. And he was a national marketing director, and he asked, what do you think uh, is the reason for the success over the years? And she said something very simple, but I think very powerful. She said, well, we get up and go to work every day. Well, I think that's important. That's an important aspect because here you do employ yourself. And from the very first day, I have treated this profession with the respect that it deserves, that it's a very powerful profession and can be accessed at any level of activity or income that you desire uh, to create. And so one of the foundational things I would truly believe is to have a strong work ethic uh, and really a commitment to a positive outcome. Expect success but also have a serious business mindset. I employ myself at a high level because I want to be paid at a high level. 
and that's something that you can do too. You can employ yourself at every any level that you choose. I think it's also important to identify your own professional image. How do you see yourself professionally? Uh, I see myself as a team builder. I'm good at it, and I'm working and getting better every day. Uh, when I was teaching at the university, I happened to have my office down oh a few doors from the man who was the recruiter uh, for the football team. And so I'd heard that this business, even though I didn't know much about it, involved recruiting. So I went down and I said, you know, tell me, what does a recruiter do? And he says, well, what you do is you search out the best in the land for what you want to pursue, and you work at putting together a winning team. So my goal all these years has been to search out the very best in the land to put together a winning team, and fortunately have found all of you and others to come. How do you feel about what you do? I think this is a very important aspect foundationally as well. Do you find pride in what you do? Uh, I'm proud of the job I do, the company I'm with, the profession I'm in, the marketing model I represent. All of those things become part of your identity, so it's important to really in, investigate, I, would use, I guess I would say, or look into your heart is how you feel about that. Also important to cast a big vision. Uh, invite people to step into a big picture. And many of you on this line I know do this extremely well. I love explaining the full potential of the benefits uh, that we have and the benefits of our pay plan. I'm going to encourage you to know and fall in love with the power of your pay plan. Be proud to show it and tell it and know it. Discover what others want in life and wrap your pay plan around it. Help people translate those numbers into real-life tangible returns. When I first looked at our pay plan, I can remember thinking, I'll never figure this out because it was so different from traditional business in which you trade hours for dollars and you receive a salary. Here your income comes from many different directions. Of course, one of the beautiful things about our pay plan, first of all, is whether you understand it or not, the company's going to pay you. But really work at learning it as soon as possible because a great deal of strength and confidence comes from it. And as you work with others, if you can help them translate that plan into tangible returns, it's going to serve you very well. To help a person from the very beginning get the picture that they can replace a house note or replace a car note, uh, something of that nature to start with so they, they begin to see the benefits of the marketing model itself. As you create an organization and begin to stretch out and invite people uh, to you know, join you and to be teammates with you, it's very important to stay connected. Create traditions in your organizations to stay connected and to together cast a big vision. That's really what this Monday Night Call has done for us as an organization and continues to do. The fact that we've not missed a Monday night for 28 years is certainly a tradition. And we started with five people uh, back there at 28 years ago, and today we have as many as 1,000 that check in on Monday nights. So a wonderful way to stay connected, but also another way to help share a really big vision. And there are many other activities that we do within our organization to continue those traditions that not only identify us but help us stay connected. Another important aspect in creating the foundation for a powerful business uh, is to set up for duplication. And I think there's only one way that you can do that. You do the paying activities you want to see happen in your organization. You yourself. You are the model. Distributors duplicate what they see and experience, not what they hear. So whatever activity you want duplicated in your team is the activity that you want to present and continue uh, to pursue. And I think this is huge. Also, we're going to have great successes in our lives, in our business lives, and we're going to have challenges. Uh, that's the norm. And one of the things I heard many years ago, and I certainly believe it because I've watched it all these years, is there's not any problem your business can have that five new people won't cure. 
And so at any point, you can reset uh, your business and your business experience uh, with not only the people that you have and that you're working with, but the new people that you bring along. I also believe there are four basic fundamentals that create the foundation for any business, especially our business, but I think this would apply to any business model. The first would be self-responsibility. As an individual, I am responsible for where I am at any point in my life. If you want the results, you have to accept the responsibility. But there's something great that comes along with that. And what it is is that you are in control. You're in control of your life, your future, your happiness, your income, when you take responsibility for the outcome. So very powerful uh, foundational self-responsibility. The next would be self-determination. And this is, you know, determined to do whatever it takes to get the desired results. This is where passion shows up, and passion is really reflected in your daily method of operation. Uh, we refer to it as the DMO, but the daily method of operation. And in that daily method of operation, if you're consistent with paying activities, first of all, that becomes your daily method of operation. So what would a paying activity be? Any activity that is going to get a return of a customer order or a new team member. Now, we're basically paid storytellers, so we're telling the story and we're telling it uh, one on one, uh, we're telling it two by two, we're telling it in presentation, we're telling it through social media, we're telling it through so many different ways conferences, events. But if that story is to really enroll people in the product and the benefits of the product and the desire for the products and also uh, to join the mission, then it's a paying activity. If that DMO is done consistently, it will never let you down. Your DMO will never let you down. It always produces results. Only you can let the DMO down if there's no consistency. So consistency is very, very important. I would also say that repetition ensures integration. If we repeat anything often enough, it becomes intrinsic. It becomes natural uh, to your, your, I guess you would say, just your being. Uh, driving a car is a really good example of that. When you started driving your car, you worried about when you were going to you know, turn the turn signal on or step on the brake or the gas or uh, all of the things that goes into driving a car. Today you get in a car and you don't have to think of any of those things because you've repeated it so many times uh, that it's become an intrinsic part of you. So that second foundational basic would be self-determination. The third is self-motivation. Uh, too often people rely on outside motivation. Inner motivation is what drives a powerful business. Again, this comes down to your daily method of operation, and your daily method of operation gets results. Now, results motivate. So if your activity is bringing you positive results, that's going to be motivational in itself. The other thing that I would invite you to really look at when it comes to self-motivation is what is the driver? What is it that really inspires you to pursue uh, this as a business, this as an activity? Um, what is it that drives you? What is it that gets you out of bed in the morning and you want to tell the Juice Plus story, you want to tell about the product, you want to uh, really gather and put your arms around as many team members as possible who are going to share that story with you? We all have a why. Uh, it might have started for me uh, certainly out of fear instead of inspiration. It, I can say that's certainly true. Uh, it was fear, financial fear. But once that, you know, was under control and I realized that I could create the type of income that was needed to take care of my family, then you have to look at, you know, what what is it? What is it beyond that? that continues to drive the activity, to drive the energy. 
And so whatever your why is, it needs to be greater than any fear and bigger than any disappointment because those are the two things that may hold you back, fear or disappointment. So what is it that drives you? I think if we really uh, research and continue to identify those things, what you will come down to, what the basic, you know, bottom line thing is, is that we all strive for freedom of choice. Uh, The choice to be able to make decisions that bring the things to your life, whether it's things you want to do for your children, your family, your future, whether it's contribution to others, whether it's really the desire to make a difference in the world, and it could be all of those things together. But it truly becomes freedom of choice for you. So, so far we've covered self-responsibility, self-determination, plus self-motivation. Self-responsibility plus self-determination plus self-motivation equals self-functioning. So that's the fourth fundamental, self-functioning. At what level do you function? Do you want to function at $1,000 a month in income, $3,000, $10,000 a month? How about twenty, thirty, forty thousand 40000 a month, fifty, sixty? There are people within this team, this organization, that function at all those levels. And, of course, as you grow into the higher levels of income, that takes time. It's not magic. You don't, you know, wake up the next day after you sign the app and there's a pile of money on your front doorstep. It is an effort. Uh, There is consistent effort and work that goes into it, but I've always found it to be joyous work. So, but those things are all available And this is all determined by the level at which you employ yourself through your daily method of operation. So once you have the fundamentals in place, it's just a matter of strategies and tactics put into place on a daily basis uh, to get the return. And I think once, you know, I began to figure out that it was just a format of daily activity, identifying the activity that paid, being consistent and realizing that the return was going to come, then I could calm down in it and just employ myself at a high level, at whatever level I chose to be paid, actually, and continue to do that. If I were to share what I feel like are some of the most powerful things I've learned along the way uh, and, again, have been foundational to business development and success, there are a few here. One is your state of thinking. So staying in a prosperous, productive, positive state is a very important business skill in our profession. And and I refer to it as a skill because a skill is something anybody can learn. And if we look at a positive state, this is something that you have control over. You are the only thinker in your universe, okay? So I've always felt it very important for myself, and and I would encourage you to be the guard at the gate of your mind. So you're really the guardian at the gate or the door of your mind. And really what you, uh, I guess you would say, let into your thinking. Uh, The ultimate thief of your future success uh, is negative self-talk, negative talk, uh, whether it's with you and others, or it's with you and yourself. And so a successful business really cannot afford the luxury of one negative thought. Uh, You really want to be able to monitor that. There are many things that you can do to or employ to keep yourself in a positive state. Some people uh, really like the idea of exercise because it is physically changing your state and therefore energizing you in a positive way. I think about exercise, and every now and then I attempt it, okay? But I think that's something that people refer to often. Certainly immersion in inspirational books can be something that can really work at keeping you in a positive state. For me, uh, gratitude is one of the things that I feel like uh, has been the very best thing and brought me more happiness uh, than anything else I can think of that I've ever done for myself. I came across a book many years ago, I think in the early 90s. The name of it was Gratitude. And 
it gave you a little exercise in the back of the book to do. It was just little short stories, the whole book, on people and things that they were particularly grateful for and how they appreciated that. But the exercise in the back of the book encouraged you every night right before you go to sleep and every morning just as you wake up to go over a list, you might say. That's what I think they used to refer to as counting your blessings. (laughs) But go over a list of the things that you were most grateful for, from the very least to the greatest or the greatest to the least, maybe the health of yourself or your family or that the bed was really particularly comfortable or you slept well. But doing that every day really puts you in a state of just positive thinking. And so it sets the pace. And that, I feel like, has, if I could share anything with you, uh, that has been the most powerful thing for me as far as a positive state. I've often heard what is wrong in life is always available, but what in, is right and good in life is always available too. So it's where do you direct your thinking in regard to that. It will certainly bring you a lot of peace and happiness if it's a positive state. Other things that have really made an impression on me over the years, and if I look at my own business and others, uh, one is the ability to focus. And focus is a very powerful skill. Uh, The acronym for focus, follow one course until successful. But focus is power, the best gift you can give yourself. So give total, undivided attention to the person or task at hand. People who can focus access their abilities at the highest level. Uh, We often hear people talk about multitasking. I would encourage you to monotask, meaning that you focus on the task at hand and by far get much more done. Uh, Also, people like to do business with people that they like and trust. So live up to your word. Your word is your most valuable asset. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you say you're going to show up, show up. Over time, your word and how you live up to it will become your identity. Also, be fully present in all interaction. Really listen. Listen not only with your mind but with your heart. And this really does make a difference, I feel, in that connection that's so important in the profession that we're in. We're in the feel-good business. So you want to treat people the way you want to be treated. If you want respect, uh, respect others. And that always, of course, is circular. It always comes back around. Also, look to your own heart as to what is your business philosophy. We all have a business philosophy, whether we've identified it at this point or not. Uh, For myself, uh, basically what I've identified is that in all interaction, uh, keep other people's best interests at heart. I found if this is the case, the money just follows you home. You don't have to calculate what the volume's going to be or how many customers you'll have if it's really uh, being in service of other people. So if we look at the past 30 years, and now I'm I'm headed toward 31 years with this company, uh, we've come a long way over 30 years. Uh, We certainly uh, have traveled uh, eons as far as technology is concerned. There's endless information available. Uh, I think I started with a rotary dial phone, and today, of course, uh, there's so many ways for exposure the story to get out to other people. Certainly word of mouth travels at the speed of light today. And so it's it's almost an instant world as far as messaging and information is concerned. But if you look at, again, what's foundational to, I think, not only uh, business development but um, our, our country as a whole is free enterprise, and small business. And that was foundational as far as building uh, the prosperity that this country has experienced and many others. I truly believe we are the best example of free enterprise and small business, but yet small business that commands big business return. Brilliant careers have been formed within this company and will continue to as we continue to evolve. We have and will change the way goods and services move through the marketplace. And if we talk about 
uh, really opening doors. As I said when I started, you know, I felt this certainly was a door that opened for me that I never expected. Today, we're the ones opening doors for others. And so your commitment to your own excellence uh, presents uh, a business that allows people to step into their own dreams. Uh, You are the face of the future. Uh, Entrepreneurs have always been at the forefront of change and have always had, really, entrepreneurs have always had the ingenuity and to really create positive change in the world. So for all of us on this call here on this Labor Day, let's be the change that enables people to walk away from financial stress and fear, because that's certainly prevalent today. Let's embody such pride in the profession we represent that others will recognize our business for the promise and security it provides. Let's all acquire the courage to offer our product and our business to others relentlessly for the good of all. And in securing your own financial future here, you automatically secure the future of others. Our business can't be done alone. So I'm wishing you all a very happy Labor Day and certainly a happy and prosperous future. And may you all enjoy the greatest return in both financial revenue and emotional revenue that our profession has to offer because we have a, an immense uh, potential for both of those things. It's a great joy to work with each and every one of you. I look forward to the conference here in the next few weeks. Uh, we, again, are just going to have an amazing, I guess you'd say, Super Bowl of Juice Plus uh, in Tampa. Uh, so look forward to seeing all of you there, and we'll say good night. Happy Labor Day one more time, and I am really uh, am honored that you all joined me on this holiday. Bye, folks. Thank you, Cheryl. Bye. Bye. Thank you.